Whoopi tries to rescue Maxine Waters after she gets the worst news ever about her future. It looks like the chickens have come home to roost on Maxine Waters' political career after months of trolling President Donald Trump with her ridiculous Impeach 45 campaign Auntie Maxine has just received really bad news about her future, and Whoopi Goldberg and those harpies on The View are trying to rescue her. Reports say Mad Maxine has gotten the attention of the wrong people, and now she is in the fight of her life. You don't want to miss this. Congressional campaigns are usually local affairs, but a few do make it into the national spotlight. That's exactly what has happened to Maxine Waters, who will have to defend her congressional seat in 2018. After 13 re-elections, Auntie Maxine is the poster girl for term limits. Her ravaged district is poverty-stricken and full of gangs while she lives like an heiress in a posh mansion away from her constituents. Omar Navarro is the 28-year-old GOP challenger who up until yesterday had little to no chance of getting the millions he would need to wage an effective war against Waters. But then something miraculous happened. He held a fundraiser at Donald Trump's golf course in Palos Verdes, California, and you'll never guess who was there. First and foremost was Roger Stone. Now, love him or hate him, Stone is known for getting down and dirty to win a campaign. Stone is the guy you call when you need to change the course of an election. Candidates distance themselves from him later on, but Stone knows who he is and what he does best. He helped Nixon, Reagan, and Trump get elected. There's even a Netflix original movie about him called Get Me Roger Stone. Now that you have an idea of who this guy is, you can see why it's bad news for Mad Maxine that Stone has announced that he is officially all in and working to get Navarro elected. This congressional race is different. The race is not about liberal or conservative. It's not about Republican or Democrat. It's about a corrupt public official and a tough and energe young energetic reformer who will provide honest government, said Stone, to the crowd as Navarro looked on. The Gateway Pundit reported the contrast between the old and muddy waters who, who, whom Stone calls the evil poverty pimp, which with the young and the vibrant Navarro could not be clearer. The ethically challenged waters has been in Congress for 27 years, has passed only three bills while earning the distinction of most corrupt congressman four times. She qualifies as the swamp thing when it comes to corrupt power brokers. In his stump speech with Eye of the Tiger blaring behind him as he took the podium, Navarro mentioned, I'm very proud to have Roger on our side. That's a major win for us, seeing trouble on the horizon for a beloved crooked Democrat. The hags of the view decided to back Mad Maxine in her time of need. On a recent episode, of, uh, after some cackling and applause for Poverty Pimp Waters, they featured an unknown singer who made a video called Reclaiming Her Time. Representative Maxine Waters is going viral again for telling Steven Mnuchin that she's reclaiming her time in a tense recent hearing we discuss. This, of course, was a feeble attempt to put a spin on Maxine's nut job performance when she interrupted Steve Mnuchin 12 times during a recent congressional hearing 
the California Congresswoman was so bad it sparked joke after joke on social media. Congresswoman Maxine Waters is trending right now for not letting Treasury Secretary Mnuchin Mnuchin, Mnuchin, Mnuchin. avoid her question at a congressional hearing. And she sparked a new catchphrase. Take a look. Being a resident of California, uh, I appreciate everything that Thank you've you done for the that. community I there. I don't want to take my time. I, I, I also I have appreciated the opportunity to meet you in my time. several times. Reclaiming my time. You were doing our Mr. Chairman, I thought when you read the rules, you acknowledged that I shouldn't be interrupted and that I would have Reclaiming my time. What he failed to tell you was when you're on my time, I can reclaim it. Or perhaps, Mr. Chairman, I don't understand the rules because Reclaiming I thought I was allowed time. to answer questions. Reclaiming my time. <laughs> I think they're crazy. They're applauding with this. Friday, Friday, Friday. Friday. She's gonna reclaim the time right here. Yeah, we're gonna give her. her time. Yeah. where they can say like you're getting off course so yeah it's under the rules because yeah, people yeah. try to do that they instead of answering your questions they start complimenting you, know, you and it's time it's going but i love this video that has gone viral about reclaiming have y'all seen it take a look at this Yeah, she's reclaiming her time all right. She's reclaiming her time all right while you are losing all of your time with uh, and, and privileges that you should have gotten when Maxine was in office. And they think that this crap is going to actually sway people because you've got a singer up there making a, a viral video and that's going to change the poverty-stricken area, and she's been in office so long and has done nothing for the people, this is going to help? No. I think Maxine Waters should worry more about reclaiming her mind than she's obvious, that she's obviously lost instead of reclaiming her time. Yeah, I agree. We agree she needs to worry about reclaiming her mind, not her time. So much for the Great Waters presidential campaign because it looks like she will finally face a real race for her seat. It's time for Auntie Maxine to go back to her mansion and stay there for good. Actually, she deserves a sell. As much as we love making fun of her, Ridiculous behavior, absolutely. I do laugh at that quite a bit. The 43rd District of California has languished long enough with Roger Stone in, in this for the win. Maxine, uh, Mad Maxine, no longer has a free ride in 2018. Now, we'd love to see Maxine defend her non-existent record of, in debates with Navarro the Hispanic kid who grew up under her poverty pimp rule. And it's so, you know, true. You know, we can make jokes and, and, and kid about things, but it's actually very disturbing. And these people on The View think because they're going to come and uh, The View are hanging by a thread. So they're going to come to Maxine's rescue? I don't think so. They, they're not going to improve anything. You can't, listen, the facts speak for themselves. She, she let the, the, the place go to the dumps. So that's it. People are sick and tired of this. And uh, they're not swallowing it anymore. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.